the Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory of Columbia University has for nearly 65 years been located on a rather remote campus of the university across the Hudson, across the George Washington Bridge, 18 miles from Morningside. One of the first things I did when I arrived at Lamont was to uh, convene a strategic planning committee. I asked 12 of our uh, top scientists to uh, gather information from the whole scientific community and come up with the top priorities for the research directions that Lamont should be pursuing over the next five to ten years. We're a very large organization addressing the planet Earth from all of the scientific perspectives by which we can study uh, our environment, uh, and the interactions of the solid planet, the oceans, the atmosphere, how they uh, work together to form the climate, how life evolved on this planet and modified its environment as it did so, how the environment impacts life. And at Lamont, we have people who travel the globe. They sail on every sea. They trek deep into the hearts of all of the continents. We have people working in the Arctic and the Antarctic. This is an Earth observatory because we emphasize the gathering of global information uh, and the integration of that information into ever more sophisticated models to try to understand how our planet works. This is an era when uh, the recognition that very large data sets are important and there are scientific clues to be gleaned from mining, uh, combinations of, of large data sets. And uh, Lamont is taking a leadership role in integrating uh, many large data sets that heretofore had been uh, limited to a principal investigator's laptop uh, and, and hadn't been generally accessible. So we've got a large uh, group that is uh, m making global data sets uh, manageable, making global set data sets accessible to the community in geochemistry and petrology and marine geology and geophysics. And so we're always uh, wrestling with uh, uh, questions of, of computational capability, uh, data volumes, uh, but it's, it's driving our science. And the opportunities to uh, make advances in an integrated view of the Earth, to see how the different Earth systems interact, demands that we be in, in a position to uh, extract as much as possible from these huge global data sets. So uh, this is very much at the forefront of our thinking. We're delighted that Columbia is, is uh, pioneering some new directions in big data. Uh, when we feel that Earth science has a critical role to play in, the, in future ways of dealing with large data sets, uh, and we're eager to contribute. To say that we understand our own planet demands that we understand how all Earth-like planets uh, formed and evolved at, so that uh, the particular aspects of our own planet's history that made our environment what it is today uh, can be more deeply understood. So for me, coming to Le Mans, uh first of all, is coming home to Earth science. Secondly, it's bringing all the lessons that we learned uh, from other examples of Earth-like planets in the solar system uh, to our own planet. And third, it's an extraordinarily interesting time in the Earth sciences because of the growing awareness of all the changes going on, the need to understand those changes, and the opportunity to make a difference in uh, all of the ways that society is going to have to uh, address uh, the way our planet uh, is evolving.